What's going on everyone? Happy September. Can you believe it's already September of 2021? It's been a long year, but here we are bringing you the DMV market update. So what we're looking at in the DMV area is a continual slowdown in the market that we typically see for the year. The great news is that year over year, we are actually continuing to see growth, which is great news. But what we're looking at right now is the median sales price of 536,000 in the area. We're looking at closed units at 7,123, pending sales in our areas at 6,927, new listings are at 7,984. What this means for us is these are great numbers to continue to show for our market strength. However, what we're looking at month over month is a slight decline. So we've seen our pending sales go down. We've seen our closed sales go down. We've seen our new listings. All of our numbers are trending down anywhere from 2% down last month all the way up to about 8%. But that's typical for our August month as you'll see that when we get into the end of summer, things tend to slow down as we start to prepare back to school, gets a little colder, starts getting dark earlier you're gonna to start to see that typical slowdown. The biggest slowdown that we've seen is in the lower priced homes. Anything below 350,000, we've seen the market pretty much cut in half. So what we're expecting there is a lot of buyer fatigue as those first time buyers looking to purchase properties were competing against uh, either the downsizing, the investors, anybody who was looking to take advantage of the low rates, which are still there right now. So they have taken the biggest hit in terms of the market, but Anything above 350, 400, 500,000, even as we get into the high end market, they continue to see a strong demand. And as a result, we have actually seen our days on the market stay consistently low. It did go up one day compared to last month. So we're at an average of eight days on the market for you to get your home sold. But the great news is that you put your home on the market on a Wednesday, you should have it sold by the next Wednesday, which is great news. That means that it'll limit your time on the market, limit your showings, give you an opportunity to get the best deal possible. Because as we all know, the longer a home sits on the market, the less likely you are going to get the sales price that you're asking for. And you'll most likely have to negotiate the sale of your home a little bit more. Now, as far as buyers, what we're looking at is the competition has decreased for certain buyers. You're not seeing as many offers as we saw at the beginning of the summer months. So that's great news for you. If you're looking for an opportunity to purchase, you most likely be able to negotiate more things on the purchase of your home. Now, overall, in general, we still are in a seller's market. Our month's inventory is hovering right about 1.1 months, meaning that we have less supply than we have demand. So if you're thinking about buying or selling, right now is a great opportunity. If you're selling, less competition on the market. If you're buying, you're gonna get a great interest rate still. So take advantage of the opportunity right now. If you have any additional questions about buying or selling, we have great guides we'd love to provide you. Reach out to us. My name is Cesar Paredes with the Goldman's Group and Spring Hill Real Estate. Have a great one.